so I can have my mind clear on it. So it'll be in a, so we're placing, we're placing all of the old wood, OSB boards, putting new OSB boards and putting, uh, then the shingles gonna be on top of that new vents, soffit fascia, all of that. And then it's gonna cost me an additional seven grand per building. Gotcha. And is it any any wiggle room in that man? Uh, I can do whatever I can. Okay, man. Please show me some love. Sheesh. Okay, gotcha. All right, man. So, well. And I'll be sending you all these pictures and stuff, so you'll have an update on what's going on. Okay, that'll work. Thank you, bro. Right. So man, <laughs> you know, it's always a surprise every day. I knew um, the building on Watts was gonna take a lot, uh, but we're trying to replace the roof. All the wood under that is rotted. So we have to replace 100% of the wood that's under the shingles. Uh, and it's gonna cost an additional $7,000 per building which is $14,000 over budget uh, that I had for the roof, but hey, I'm not gonna have to replace it again for another 30 years. So. These are the things you have to go through uh, rehabbing and, and working on multifamily buildings that are older and not from scratch. So very interesting, good news for today. I'm in the big leagues, told him don't miss me. Ballin' like his dog, ayy, feelin' like Whitney. Yeah, I'm making his dog, like I'm in a big league. So man, headed to Montgomery, Alabama. It's November the first. So going down there to check on the duplex that I have Manny working on, uh, just to see his progress. Kind of, kind of disappointed, man, because he ain't been sending me pictures. He ain't been doing anything. So today is a pop up just to see what's going on in Montgomery, and then we're gonna check on our other process of the other projects that's going on down there as well. So early in the morning grind, man. Let's go. Yeah, is this Tony? Yes, sir. Hey, how's it going, man? This is uh, Josh. I met you probably about a month ago. You gave me a, a quote on my uh, 60 unit. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I got two duplexes, man, that I want to get knocked out. Uh, what's your What's your availability? Uh, you all moving pretty fast, or y'all y'all backlog? Yeah, All right. Um, what's your schedule looking like today? I'm headed in today. Can you meet me over there about 10.30? Probably say 11. Uh, 2302 Chapman. All right, I'll text it to you, and if you can, uh, I'll be there about 11 o'clock. Okay. All right, all right, I'll uh, see you in, in uh, about 11. So that's a. Uh, I'm going ahead and trying to line up other contractors to work on the work because I feel like the one that I've currently uh, been using is super slow. Like, dude, it's not. He's not moving at the pace that I need him to move because I want to complete these duplexes by the end of the year. And at the pace he's moving, we're not going to be done with this one until the end of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and start making some changes now to get these duplexes completed. Let's see if I can get someone to come out to uh, give me a quote on rewiring a duplex. Okay. And your name? Joshua. 
And if they could come today, that would be great. I'm I'm in I'm coming from Nashville. And I have some uh, places in Montgomery, so I'm spending the day here going over and looking at my properties and stuff. Uh, so if I could get somebody today, that would be great. Okay, where's the property located? It's 2302 Chapman. All right, I'll get my service manager to give you a call. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hello? 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 Hey, this is Tiffany with Dixie, Mr. Mundy. Yes. I was calling to make sure the plumber could head your way if you were available. You said the plumber? Yes, sir. Yeah, he can head my he can he can head my way. All right, you should be in about thirty minutes or so. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Bye. So we pulled up, um, coming from Nashville, headed here, and we just really jumped right into the project. So what's waiting on me was the plumbers. Just saying that uh, it needs to be new pipe under the ground. Under the ground and under the ground. Uh, so we have to really get this whole house replumbed, and they were really reluctant. So we really wanted to tie into the old uh, plumbing, but they were reluctant to doing that, so they couldn't really ensure or guarantee their work. So now we have to d uh, dig from the street. So we have to dig a trench from the street and connect the plumbing strictly from the street to the to the duplex. So uh, that's money that I did not have budgeted, but we got to get it done. See how that's all bubbled up? Yeah. And melted? Uh, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't make any sense at all to tie back into that. So I had fire damage on the drywall and uh, under the house as well. So we have to repair that. So all these things are just surprises as we go and dig into the house. All right. Um, Wait, can you give me a price for that? Give a about your feelings, rub it in, this your ointment can depend. 